Warning, the hidden camera stunts in the show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Board games are all about strategy and luck, but most of all, they're tons of fun. But it depends on who you're playing with, cause no one's expecting him to be part of the game. Let's walk the prank. So we created a fake game board called Dragon Hunt. There's a forest, an evil queen, a castle, and a dragon's lair. And oh yeah, a dragon. Uh, these are my boys. Hey guys, this is Aaron. Meet Aaron. She thinks she's here to babysit and play a few games with Dusty and I. But I'm gonna be back like an hour, hour and 30 minutes. No problem. Thank you so much, Thank appreciate it. Room. Guys, be good, please. What's going on? Ah, got the notch. What are you guys playing? Dragon hunt. It's really fun. Dragon hunt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in dragons? Do I believe in dragons? I don't know if I believe in them, but I love dragons. That's great, Aaron. Then you're definitely gonna love this game. Uh, let's play the game. Let's yeah, do that. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go first. So when you take a card, you have to take it and read it out loud. Okay. My card says, Gay forth to Castle Winthrop. Mm. <clears throat> For winning the jousting tournament, you are rewarded the Queen's tax. Oh, snap. I'm guessing you okay, now it's Aaron's turn. Let's see if we can make her believe in dragons. Awesome. All right, now it's your turn. You have to take a card and read it out loud. I shall slay the mighty dragon. Oh. What does that mean? That means you have to slay the mighty dragon. You just walked the break! Come here. What? Go ahead and sit up. Go ahead. Oh, Yes, yes. I don't think that I can comprehend and process. I just walked the prey. Guys, science class was amazing today. Since when do you like science? <gasps> Ever since girls Gordy sneezed and snotted all over Mr. Dingley. <gasps> Please tell me you got it on video. I wish it all happened so fast. <gasps> what, what is, is it? it? I just got invited to sleep over at Kevin Lansbury's house for his birthday this weekend. That's crazy. Nobody ever invites you anywhere. I know. I thought it was a fluke at first. Then I realized he probably just wants an extra present. What's the problem? You should be psyched. I'm not. I sleepwalk and sleep talk. Pretty much anything you can think of, I sleep do. That's awesome. All I can do is sleep, sleep. No, it's very not awesome. It's embarrassing. Yeah, he's right. Check this out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was hilarious, Herman. Yeah, when it's just me in the room, but there's gonna be like a ton of people at the sleepover. And I'm gonna make a total fool myself. Well, that's kind of your thing. Don't worry, Herman. We'll come up with a plan. We're gonna make sure that no one at the party can make fun of you. Thanks, Chance. That means a lot. No problem, bro. But first, you guys gotta see Herman's sleeve runway modeling. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Herman, there's an easy solution. Just don't sleepwalk. Thanks, Uncle Will. These talks really help. Herman, get your stuff, we're going to Bailey's. You guys aren't hanging out here this afternoon? <laughs> no, Bailey just got a new trampoline. <laughs> yes, it's time for some extreme bounce action. Somebody's gonna be watching you guys, right? Well, kinda. My mom's gonna be there, but she lets us do whatever we want. She's not even like a mom, more like a tired older sister. Come on, she can't be that bad. 
What are you talking about? Anne's a mess. Hey, come on. You guys really need to start respecting adults. We know us, but... Shh. A group of kids that don't pay attention to adults. That's a great prank idea. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Walk the Prank. We're very excited for this next prank. Because we're at a fancy restaurant. And our fake parents are letting us do whatever we want. Let's walk the prank. Don't you hate going to restaurants with parents? You have to sit and be quiet. You can't play or sing. All you can do is eat. Boring. Well, for this prank, Bailey and Herman's fake parents are gonna let them do whatever they want. Let's see how long it takes our target to tell the kids he's had enough. And look who's helping us today. Remember Elena? You just walked the prank. She's an old walk the prank target herself. She had so much fun before that she wanted us to prank her friend Ronnie. She told us that he loves kids. I wonder how long that will last. Let's get started. Level one. The kids become complaining brats. Do you have cheeseburgers? No, we don't. It's all Italian. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. We want cheeseburgers. Our meatballs are delicious. We want cheeseburgers. We want cheeseburgers. I'll be right back. You know, I think we shouldn't have cheeseburgers the night before. Cheeseburger. Bailey. I want a cheeseburger. Me too. We want a cheeseburger. That's funny. It's adorable. I'll tell you what's not adorable, the fact that Ronnie's not getting angry. We got to bump this up to level two. The kids start drumming and singing at the table. Let's do a drumming competition. I feel like I want a sitcom. It's not a sitcom, Ronnie. It's a prank show. But we're not really doing our job, because you're still smiling. Time to take this up to level three. Be loud and inconsiderate on the phone. Hey! Oh, my gosh. I missed you. It's been, like, two hours since I saw you. You should have came to dinner with us. This is so funny. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're just so funny. <laughs> wow, the loud phone call didn't bother him. That's crazy. Well, he's got to react to level four. The kids invade Ronnie's space and make faces. He's not cracking. Time to get serious. Level five. The parents leave and the kids flip out. Yay! I think I can touch the ceiling. <laughs> Zero crap. You ready? We ready? Jump shot. Jump shot. One, two, three. Woo! I love it. I'm so, so random. He loves it? This guy's incredible. Nothing gets him angry. We've got to come up with something really good. And that's level six. Take the food right off his table. Can I have a zucchini? Uh, did you, did ask you ask about that? Uh-huh. Did they say yes? Ow. Be respectful How of much bad behavior values? are you exhibiting right now? I was being respectful. You always tell me to get what I want, to be a strong girl and ask for what I want. Finally, we're starting to get to him. Let's see how he reacts when Bailey helps herself to more of his food. Can I have another one? No, but really? you need to wait. No, you don't. You need that a is response. Okay. Is... All right. It looks like he's ready to explode. I'm sorry. Everyone has low blood sugar right now. I think that's all it is. What, what happened? Are you all right? I, yeah, we're ready to leave. Yeah. You want the check? I'm, I'm not paying for this. I'm ready don't to you pay. like us? I love kids. I love you guys. But, you know, it's just certain things you just don't do. Yeah, but you could also, like, not make such a big deal out of stuff. It's okay. We're kids. It's okay. No, it's not okay, Ronnie, because you're super chill. But we'll fix that with level seven, Bailey's five eyes. Okay, I'm going to do my five eyes. Okay. I think that's fair. I feel sad because you were mean to me. I can sense the evilness. I can feel the tension between us. I understand. I'm sorry. And I think you're a bully. I feel better now. Okay, you've expressed yourself. We've been challenged by the most patient target of all time. We've thrown everything at this guy. Everything but food, which is level eight. 
That's it. You understand me? I don't want to yell at you in front of your parents. You're being extremely rude right now. Yay, we did it! We finally got Ronnie to say that he's had enough. Now it's time to let him off the hook. Parents, you're being extremely rude right now. Do you understand me? <laughs> you just walked the prank! No prank, no! Bro, you're amazing! because it was kind of over the top, and I'm like, this is not happening. This is not real. And I'm just ready to get out of here and just not pay for the food. I'm like, this is wrong, but these kids, I'm like, I got to love on them. That's all I can do is you love You are them. the nicest man ever. And us. Okay. you didn't get frustrated until I threw food. That was like. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I feel like I'm um, outside of my body right now. Yeah! I just walked the prank. <laughs> hey guys, how did trampoline and go? Started out great, then very quickly became not great. What happened? Bailey doesn't know how to trampoline is what happened. I was doing really well with the ups. It was one of the downs that got me. It was pretty nasty. My arm bent way back. It was in the shape of a question mark. Uh, you know, stop. I don't like that stuff. You know what? I heard it, and it sounded just like this. Ooh, Dusty, you gonna make me throw up. You owe me 10 cents for that pencil. Guys, Uncle Will doesn't want to hear about Bailey's accident. He wants to see it. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Oh, really yeah, don't. you do. Coming up next, I'll walk the prank. No, be careful. Oh, help! No, help! Help! Warning, the hidden camera stunts on this show are performed by trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Remember when we introduced Aaron to a dragon? Oh! Well, now it's time for Dolly and Noreen to walk the prank. I shall slay the mighty dragon. I shall slay the mighty dragon. What do we do with that? We're gonna have to slay the dragon. Mm -hmm. ah! oh! Okay. Oh my gosh! You just walked the prank! <laughs> yeah! This is crazy. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? I'm shaking so bad. <laughs> I just walked the track. Can you tell I broke my arm in this shirt? Yeah, totally. I'm so embarrassed. Everyone's going to laugh at me. Yeah, probably. Hey, Bailey. I heard you broke your arm. Uh, yeah. That's so cool. Did you cry? No. Wow, that's so cool. Can I sign it? Uh, sure. Can I sign next? Uh, sure, Gross Gordy. Just try not to get any of that pizza on it. <laughs> no promises. Uh... You're still doing that sign thing? Yep. Last night didn't go so well. Yeah, we tried a bunch of things to prep for Kevin's sleepover. I even tied him to his bed. Good news is, I woke up in my bed. The bad news is, it was in the living room. I'm doomed. I'm just going to cancel. I got it. What if, while you're at the sleepover, the three of us just take turns calling you every half hour to wake you up? You won't even catch a wink. That just might work. Gordy, you wrote your name huge. No people know we're friends. No people know we're friends. I got to go back to the hospital and get this thing cut off. Can I have it after you cut it off? Okay, guys, I have a new idea for a prank. First, we're gonna dress Dusty up like a ninja. Ooh, I love ninjas. Then we're gonna put you on a bike. Nope. Count me out. What? Why? I just don't want to do it anymore. But you were just so excited about being a ninja. That was then. This is now. Things change. Dusty, why are you backing out of this? You never turned down a challenge. Ever. Okay. The truth is, I don't know how to ride a bike. Excuse me? I never learned, and I'm scared, OK? Can we just move on? Yeah. Just as long as it's not on a bike. <gasps> oh! Thank you. <laughs> Look, I'm 
an inside kid. Anything that requires a helmet, knee, and ankle pads is not something I need to do. Well, I understand, Dusty. I didn't learn to ride a bike till I was 20. And I bet you wish you learned a lot earlier. Nope. First time I was on that thing, I wiped out so bad. If I put my tongue in the back of my teeth, I could still taste concrete. Thanks, Uncle Will. You're a real confidence builder. Come on, Dusty, you've got to overcome your fear. If I can sleep over at Kevin's house, you can learn how to ride a bike. Yeah, we'll all teach you. And you guys are sure I won't get hurt? Dusty, what could possibly go wrong? Hey there, pranksters. Today we're pranking someone who thinks they've been hired to teach me how to ride a bike. But when they're teaching me, I'm gonna switch out with a stunt bike rider and see if he notices. Did you? Let's walk the prank. Learning to ride a bike is one of the most important things in a kid's life. It isn't easy, but it's even harder to learn when you're 13. Meet Earl. We've told him that I have no idea how to ride a bike, and he thinks he's been hired to give me a lesson today. Well, Earl, we're about to give you a lesson in pranking. What he doesn't know is that at the end of this prank, our bike stuntman is going to trade places with me and do a stunt that Earl's going to think is a total disaster. But for now, back to my bike lesson. So you just look straight ahead on, and be focused on where it is that you want to go. Yeah. And I'm just going to have the back of your seat just guiding you, OK? Yeah. Let's do a chance. So before we get to anything crazy, we're going to start off nice and slow. But don't worry, we'll make sure to keep Earl on his toes. There you go. <laughs> Okay, we didn't fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fall. No, no, nobody's falling on this bike. You're dealing with a bike pro. And you're dealing with a prank pro, Earl. And something tells me I'm gonna fall. Oh, Earl, it? Earl, Earl! Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. I have different gears on myself. No. No, be careful. Oh. Be careful. Oh, okay. be careful. Yeah. Be hands on the handlebars, though. Don't, don't take your hands off. Oh. Ah. Actually, you probably do need a little bit more gear on. <laughs> There you go, Chance. I'm doing good. You're doing good. No. Nope. Ah. Ah. No matter how many times okay. you fall, you got to keep going. Here goes. And then before you know it, by the end of the week, you're going to be riding Willie. Earl's done a great job keeping me safe so far. Now let's see how he defends me against a neighborhood bully. What's your name? Roland. Roland, Earl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you been riding? Just longer than him. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're working with Chance for a little bit just yeah. to try to get him more used to riding the bike. You don't know how to ride a bike? He's doing well. He's doing well. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> He's doing well. He's doing well. Bruh. Come on. Come on. None of that, man. You got you to gotta work up to it. Right, ready to go again? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry, Earl. He's just an actor. But now that we've had our fun, it's time to make Earl think that I've learned how to ride a bike. Yeah. OK. OK. I'm going to stay away from you a little bit. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I think I'm doing it. I can ride a bike. Yes. Thank you so much, Earl. I'm riding a bike. Could you could you record me doing it? Yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Chance. And today I'm going to show you that I can actually ride a bike. Yeah. OK, now that we've made Earl feel responsible for teaching me how to ride a bike, it's time to make him feel responsible for the worst bike accident in history. Uh, uh, help! No, help! No, help you, man! Help! And now for the old switcheroo with my bike stuntman. Here comes Earl. And there goes our stuntman. <laughs> and down go our stunt people. Oh my gosh. 
obviously you already know how to ride. Yeah, right? obviously, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean like But not like that though. Yeah, I know, but not like that. Yes. Oh my gosh, man. Thank you, brother. Cause that 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 really had my heart going, man. Oh wow. I just walked the prank. Hey, you are so awesome, bro. You are awesome, man. So there I was, jumping on the trampoline, flying through the air, when I heard my bones shatter. Crack. You're a legend, Bailey. Hey, friends. Thanks a lot. Pipe down, nerd. The legend's speaking. Oh, it's OK. He's with me. Sorry, nerd. What happened to calling me every half hour last night so I would stay awake? Um, Dusty was supposed to call and wake me up after his shift. Bailey was supposed to call me after she did her call. Wait, we were actually doing that? I thought we were just joking. <sighs> Sorry, Herman. So, I'm guessing the sleepover didn't go over so well? Well, I did something weird. What? This. He's sleep break dancing. Awesome. Don't wake him up. Congrats, Herman. I guess we're both popular now. Hey, look! Clumsy Carl broke his arm and his leg! I forgot the pool was drained. Well, that was short-lived. 